This presentation is an overview of the Advanced Dental Admission Test, which is being implemented in 2016. With approval from the ADA, the American Dental Education Association is providing this video to inform both programs and applicants about the test. This video is provided for informational purposes only and shall not constitute IDEA's endorsement or recommendation of the ADAT. It is a resource created at the request of ADEA CoSurf and ADEA CoHeap. ADEA does not administer the ADAT or make recommendations to advanced dental education programs regarding its use in application or matriculation. Additional information on the ADAT may be found at ada.org forward slash ADAT. The Advanced Dental Admission Test, or ADAT, is an admissions test intended to provide information to advanced dental education programs about applicants' potential for success in their program. It is being developed by the American Dental Association. The ADAT was developed as a means to aid programs in selecting the best qualified applicants. It is distinct from the National Board Dental Exam, which is designed for licensure decisions. While the boards determine minimum competency, the ADAT is designed to determine the most qualified applicants. ADAT candidates include applicants to advanced dental education programs or advanced standing pre-doctoral programs for foreign trained dental graduates. While potential candidates are applicants to these programs, not all programs will request or require the ADAT. According to an ADA survey, approximately 300 advanced dental education programs have agreed to participate in the pilot year in 2016. A new survey is currently deployed to determine exactly which programs will request or require applicants take the ADAT. A list of these programs will be made available in February on both the ADA and ADA websites. In the pilot year, many advanced standing pre-doctoral programs will not be participating. It is recommended that applicants to advanced dental education programs or advanced standing pre-doctoral programs contact their programs of interest for more information about testing requirements. The ADAT will consist of four sections. Biomedical sciences will have 80 questions. Clinical sciences will have 60 questions. Data and research interpretation will have 30 questions. And ethics and patient management will have 30 questions for a total of 200. A test specification document is currently available on the ADA website with a breakdown of topics in each category. The item writers are faculty and program directors selected through an application process who have been asked to create cognitively challenging items in these areas. During the pilot year, the test will be administered between May 16th and August 31st, 2016. The testing administration dates for 2017 have not yet been scheduled. The testing will be conducted by Pearson View. Candidates can register for one testing attempt at a time and registration for 2016 will open in February. The ADAT will be a 4 hour 20 minute test. The 2016 fee to register is $350 and includes an unlimited number of score reports. If additional score reports are requested at a later date, the cost is $35 each. While it is possible for a candidate to take the test without sending a report to a program, a future release of the information will include all test administrations and scores. It is recommended that candidates select all programs to which he or she intends on submitting an application. Students should rely on their academic curriculum to review for the test. Available now on the ADA website is the test specification document, which provides the test outline with subjects and number of items per subject. The ADAT guide will be available in February at no cost. It will provide a small number of sample questions that will illustrate the types of questions that will be asked. It will not be a thorough review. Here are some points to consider regarding ADAT scores. Examinees will not receive immediate feedback concerning their test results. The scores will be reported as scaled scores ranging from 200 to 800, with a target mean of 500 and a target standard deviation of 100. Scores will be reported in increments of 10. 
In June and September, percentile scores will be made available. Then in September, the scaled candidate results for all 2016 candidates will be available. Applicants to ADEA Pass will have official scores displayed as long as they have submitted scores to at least one ADEA Pass participating program. ADAT scores will be valid for two years. Please check the ADA website for more information. New information will be posted as it is available. For questions and concerns, please email adat at ada.org.